All right, question here from L. I'll just uh, you know keep your name private. Um, what is the number way you realign yourself when you're feeling a, a, a huge pull towards doubt in your business? Like, for example, can I really increase my followers and engagement? It's a great question, and all of us have had have that experience. So I hope this is helpful for those who are listening. So when I have a doubt, like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if my content is going to work, my offers are going to work. What I know how to do, well, first of all, I do my energy reboot. <laughs> I always return to that. And so if you don't know what my energy reboot is, you just Google energy reboot and you'll look for my article or look at my video about energy reboot and watch that. And I literally do that many times a day. If you if you if you ever do co-working with me, which I do focus mate, I do that, I do focus mate several hours a day. You like you're co-working with me, you'll see me do this thing like every five, 10, 15 minutes. Because I need to do that for myself. I get impatient. I get discouraged easily. I get stuck easily. So I have to reboot my energy all the time. It takes me 20 seconds. That's why I can do it all the time. So first I do that. Just like ener energetically reset myself so that I'm not in a, in a downward spiral type of state. You know, at least I've stopped the downward spiral. And maybe I could start in the upward spiral, right? So, so rebooting my energy. Secondly, I... Um, I look at what's already working because no matter how much doubt you have about your business, about what's going to work, something has worked better than the rest of it. So for example, have you posted more than one post on social media? <laughs> yes, you have. Right? Some of you have posted many things over the years. And some of you, if you don't have social media, at least you've sent an email to some colleagues or friends, or or you've 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 sold a couple things before. You've you've tried selling something before. Okay, so whether you've posted content or you've made offers before, something has worked better than other things. For example, you have posted, uh, you know, thirty things this year on social media. You're not very active on social media, so you've only posted thirty things in the past twelve months. Oh, fine. In the past month, you've posted three things on social media. Okay, let's look at those three things and ask, I would ask myself, which of those three things got more engagement than the others? Say, so, George, I only get zero likes for all my stuff. I don't have any likes for my stuff. So then fine, keep going back until you see something you posted that has one like, because one is greater than zero. So whatever has had above average likes, if, if average is zero, <clears throat> <clears throat> one like, you should study that thing. Go, hmm, what was that one thing? <clears throat> does it relate to my business in some way? How does it relate to my business? And how can I do more of that? If you typically get 10 likes, then what's something that got 12 likes or 15 likes? Because that's great. 12 or 15 is greater than the average of 10. So whatever your average is, look for what's above average in, the, in terms of engagement from your audience and ask yourself, how can I do more of that in my business? The same thing with offers. I have tried selling my life coaching on this issue, on this issue, and that issue. Or I have tried addressing this audience and this audience and this audience. Well, which of those, which of those experiments got you a client or got you more than one client? Maybe framing it as this issue got you none, no clients, but framing it as this issue got you two clients. And framing it as that issue got you one client. Okay, fine, great. Let's study these two. Okay, that's not that. Well, like we could study the, the difference between these two and that one. And so what's the difference there? And how can I move my business more towards this offer because it's got me two clients? So that's what I'm always doing. I'm always, first of all, resetting my energy as needed. And then I'm looking at what has worked because that's what the market is guiding you more and more towards. So I hope this is helpful. And by the way, please comment below if you also have mindset tips or practical tips for others who are watching this and go feeling discouraged in my business doubtful what should i do next you go and comment below if you've found something helpful for you or um yeah if something has been helpful for you please comment below